Welcome to Comet Computer Private Limited e-learning program of uh, ticketing tool for L1 IT support. We are going to discuss about um, ticket life cycle management. In the earlier uh, presentations we have discussed about what is the IT support and what is ITSM model, different types of um, support levels available, everything. Now um, you understand that um, any IT organizations they wanted to have a proper support they need a ticketing system a tool for managing the operation in a sense we need to record all the incidents service request uh, changes problem we need to have a tool to record all these things which is nothing but your ticketing system so through the ticket we are going to track whether it is open close pending in a month how many tickets incident tickets are created why it is created what is the way to reduce the number of incidents how to automate the incident so we can do anything with the help of uh, ticket data what we have so it is a future benefit of having ticket details so what is that um, uh, ticketing system right so it as per itil uh, we need to have a process of ticketing system as per the uh, itil framework we have several practices available but um, for freshers Whoever is joining the organization as a uh, newcomer and um, after uh, completing the degree or uh, after completing any kind of training they are joining an organization so they will be uh, focused on only few managements like incident management and service request management because handling the users uh, is different way uh, facing the uh, problems like uh, resolving the issues or uh, asking for a software uh, asking for a hardware that will be come under request so how to fulfill the requirement so those kind of things will be updated in the ticket and um, uh, other side is on the uh, front end facing we have service desk practice so mostly it will be a, a call taking profile uh, where people will be attending calls and uh, trying to solve the problem first call resolution and um, if they are not able to resolve they will escalate it to the next level so that is for the service desk so service catalog next is um, we should be aware of service catalog because as a uh, front ending person we should know what are all the services we offer to the end users as an IT department you should know what is the service you are going to provide to the uh, customer so you should have a list of services maybe printer service internet service web service whatever it is suppose if they are asking um, I need a paper for uh, taking a printout if you don't know that uh, uh, paper provisioning is not under your scope then you will be stuck with uh, uh, arranging for papers and um, uh, telling them the excuses but if you know that uh, the scope is not yours you can directly tell boss um, call this extension number uh, they will be able to arrange for a paper and um, you can take a printouts there is any issue in printouts please reach to us so likewise we should be able to segregate the scope and uh, react to the users accordingly so for that we should be aware of the service catalog which is required which is not required all those things so when you are getting into the tickets so you should know about ticket types right so first is uh, even tickets or alert tickets normally we have a event management which is monitoring uh, the environment IT environment infrastructure site like um, servers network devices um, storage database backup devices everything in and out about all the IT devices so it should be in the monitoring scope so once it is uh, connected with the tools monitoring tools then it will keep on monitoring suppose if there are uh, parameter uh, misses then it will be generating an alert as a ticket and we can uh, work on the ticket and uh, bring it under control for example uh, a server is being monitored for various parameters like um, CPU utilization memory utilization hard disk utilization hard disk availability or um, the network uh, connectivity and um, if there is a storage available connected to it a storage connectivity everything so there will be configuration set in the uh, monitoring alert 
So if the processor utilization is um, going beyond a threshold, we'll be setting a threshold like um, 60 percentage, 70 percentage, 80 percentage. So for 60 percentage, it will be an information alert. For 70 percentage, it will be a um, error alert. For 80 percentage, it will be a warning alert. So it means that uh, the action should be quick if I'm getting a warning alert from a particular uh, hardware. Because if it is almost reached 80, um, then um, it can quickly go up to uh, 90 or 100 also and server may go down. So we are in the critical stage. I should not set the alert as 90% or 100% because I should have some handful of time to handle the uh, issue in the particular server. So once my server reaches 60 or 70%, I should have reacted. Maybe the ticket uh, will be P2 or P3, whatever it is. If it reaches um, 80, it may go to P1. Priority, I'm saying. So if I'm getting a P2 ticket, uh, priority 2 ticket or the um, error alert from the particular server, I should react it immediately and see why there is an increase in uh, processor utilization. So it was normal all the days, 40, 50, whatever it is, 60 also. So 70, it has touched 70. So why it has touched? Is there any addition of programs added into the uh, server? Or um, there is some spike in the uh, services because of some utility programs and um, it was there for some time it has come down to 60 or 50 again so it is not impacting now so we can close the ticket suppose if it is steadily consuming 70 percentage then we have to uh, find out the reason for the particular um, uh, issue it's not a issue but a change so there may be addition of um, users added to the organization addition of um, monitoring service added to the particular server so anything something um, done in the recent past with the particular server that has caused the um, usage increase to 70 percentage or 80 percentage so we'll be getting this type of tickets to us and we have to do some kind of troubleshooting and bring that uh, uh, particular server to the normal um, uh, monitoring normal uh, condition okay so if it is at 70 percent i have to bring it less than 50 percentage so sometimes what we do, uh, we um, follow up with the capacity management team. If it is steadily uh, going with uh, 80 percentage, 90 percentage, we will immediately coordinate with the capacity management team, get the approval and um, raise a change request for adding additionally two processors so that um, uh, the overall consumption may go, go down. So that is the uh, way of uh, implementing the solution. But here, so what is the focus is? those kind of tickets will be called as alerts and that will be coming to the central team so that is called as a knock team normally it is called as a knock operations team noc network operation center or monitoring team okay l1 team so these teams will be having a definitely having a technical knowledge and they'll have access to the service so suppose if the service is down the alert will be generated at a particular server the service is down this l1 team once getting the alert they will log into the server and restart the service or they will have a tools they will open the tool enter the server name enter the service name then they'll, they'll click on restart they will restart the service so if it is down so if it is not happening then i will move the ticket to the l2 team so that that l2 team will log into the server or do something on remote and try to fix the issues so these kind of technical activities will be done in the um, alert tickets. So definitely a person who is responsible in the L1 um, uh, NOC team, then they should have a technical knowledge. At least service desk, if you have a communication skills, uh, then you can handle the user at first level and forward the ticket to the uh, technical team, right? And um, there will be some tools given directly. So they can just work on the tools and solve the problems like account is locked, then uh, the via tool they will enter the email id or employee number they'll just unlock the account for that you don't require any uh, big technical knowledge and just simple training is sufficient if, if suppose um, they get a frequent account lockout then definitely the ticket has to be routed to the technical team so we can segregate what is the issues can be uh, handled by uh, non-technical team service desk kind of team or a technical team is required to handle the first level of issues so 
anyway that is a kind of alert tickets what we are getting from the event management uh, system so this is also a incident ticket this will fall under incident ticket because um, this is a interruption to a continual service as per the definition of incident management um, if I am not attending the ticket properly so the server may go down so this is going to help you to come out of that kind of problem say if the server is down you will get a p1 ticket so if I react it when I am getting a 60% or 70% alert and resolve the issues I could have I could have stopped the p1 ticket so that is how we have to think about it so this alert tickets are helping us to avoid major issues major incidents in the organization for the customer so this should be uh, configured separately by the uh, tools monitoring team and connected to the um, ticketing software so that automatic alert can be generated and we have some advancements also like uh, uh, automation implemented for the alerts right so if suppose you are getting service down alert and immediately that automation will go and start the service you need not wait for a knock team to respond to the alert the service will be automatically restarted by the automation system we have a lot of automation systems available so we'll segregate um, how many tickets can be handled by automated uh, scripts not by the l1 team so l1 team will just monitor it whether it is working properly or not that's it so that kind of automations are done improvements are done in the alert but anyway it will be documented and uh, produced for uh, future analysis then second is a request tickets so what is a request if if the user wants something right uh, they have given a standard working environment and apart from that they want some additional facility so for that they have to raise a request same I have given a default laptop but I don't have um, MS project I cannot say I don't have MS office because MS office is a default product for all the people working in the organization so it will be installed via the uh, image processing itself and when the OS is installed MS office will also be installed as a uh, bulk installation okay whereas MS project if suppose I am a project manager I have to work on the uh, project uh, schedules and uh, track it so I need to have a MS project software so I will have to raise a request okay so once the request is raised uh, there is a separate workflow available we'll discuss in a separate uh, discussion and um, those kind of things will be dealt with the request so I need a, a dual monitor already I am given a single monitor but for project purpose I need to have two monitors to monitor it so I'll raise a request I cannot raise an incident okay because incident is a interruption only but the service request is I'm adding up additional facility or I wanted something from the uh, team um, IT team so that I can work efficiently okay so that kind of freewares um, whatever it is software I wanted I can download and with the help of IT team I can download and install in my uh, laptop for that I need to have a uh, service request raised in the system that is the second type third is the actual incident suppose um, I am not able to print it I am not able to browse internet whereas uh, I was working with internet continuously and um, there is no issue earlier but now I have an issue so incident is nothing but a interruption to a, a continual service or unplanned interruption okay so it is not a planned one right so if it is planned what will happen uh, IT team would have sent a mail okay today uh, from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, there is a network maintenance happening you will not be able to um, work on the internet for some time this two hours you cannot work with the internet please execute or apologize whatever it is they are saying it so 11 o'clock somebody is coming to office they cannot say um, internet is not working I'll raise an incident ticket because it is a planned downtime and it is already communicated to everybody if you are not aware then okay so those incident tickets cannot be considered as a real incident ticket but still for him it is a uh, interruption only so but calculation purpose or any other um, requirement we will not consider this because it is a planned activity so what is a incident it is an unplanned event or interruption to a continual service so those things we call it as a incident so user can raise a ticket uh, and uh, the analyst will be providing a support for resolving the incident 
so they will try to provide a quick fix okay so that uh, you are able to work uh, on the system and produce the output so for any major incidents we'll be working on the um, permanent fix also by doing a problem analysis by doing the root cause analysis we'll be doing the uh, permanent fix uh, uh, technical things we'll be doing so that uh, those issues are not getting repeated so this is the ticket types incident ticket request ticket as well as the alert tickets the, there are three major types of tickets hope we have got uh, details about different types of tickets available in the uh, system and uh, for desktop engineers system administrators they'll be discussing or handling more with incident tickets and request tickets which is uh, the ticket raised for the end user uh, who is working in the floor as a development team or a, a support team or database administrator whatever it is so for supporting them uh, they'll be uh, creating tickets in the incident or if they want any softwares they'll create a request tickets mostly this event tickets or alert tickets will be handled by the l1 monitoring team there will be dedicated team available centrally they'll be working in the organization and they'll be receiving alerts from the servers network devices or other uh, storage database everything and they'll be able to provide a resolution for the tickets or they will escalate it to the next level for the support so this is about the event tickets otherwise for us um, mostly we should know about incident and request tickets so with this uh, we are coming to the uh, completion of part one we'll discuss more in coming uh, sessions thank you very much